Hi, it's Nell. And don't we all want our lives to be a little bit easier? Mm-hmm, that's for sure. So this video is going to fall under the category of making our gardens easier to maintain. And it involves this pot, which I just painted. Um, there's going to be a separate video on that. And it's also going to involve the succulent cuttings from just a few days ago, the video I just posted, and three pots of succulents. So stick around and see what I'm gonna do. So here are the succulent cuttings and here are the three pots. And for those of you who don't know, I now live in Tucson, it's the desert, and having to water all these small pots is tedious, very hot here. And also, Fleshy succulents are sort of a crapshoot here. They've been doing okay because I've had them in very bright shade, but it is colder in the winter here. So I figure if I put them all into this pot, which is actually a, a fiberglass or a plastic pot, I think it's fiberglass, very light, um, I can either cover it when it's cold because it's going to be right by the front door, or else I can easily move them into the garage and I'm going to lose some of them I know so if I plant a whole lot of them in here and if I have 10 survive we're doing okay and I'm going to work right here for this project because this pot is a little bit taller and to have it up on my work table you may not be able to see what I'm doing because it is going to be a little bit of a challenge for me to, to figure out how I want to get these all in here. So uh, I thought you could see me better. And I know you're just dying of curiosity to know what's going in this empty pot. Well, that is going to be my mojito mint. And I am actually going to do a totally separate video on mojito mint. I've done a video on growing mint, but I'm going to do one on mojito mint because it's a really cool mint. And I'll also tell you why it's called that. Just to show you quickly, um, I usually put a uh, piece of newspaper. This is doubled over the drain holes. I drilled three drain holes in the bottom of this pot. It didn't have any because succulents need excellent drainage. But I have the piece of paper over there because I don't want all the loose mix to come out of the drain holes right away. So it's just gonna help to hold it in a little better. It just, it's just what I do when I I pot things up. So I have my succulent and cactus mix into about this level here. Now I'm going to add some good local compost. I'll probably add another scoop of that and I kind of work it on through. That way this part of the uh, soil is going to be enriched. And succulents don't root very deep so I don't have to worry about getting the compost all the way, all the way down here. I'm going to start with the paddle plant because it is the biggest single being going in this pot. And I have loosened it around the sides. Uh-oh. You can easily propagate these leaves, you know. And I'm going to see if it's just going to hopefully just pop right out. Of course, when you're trying to film it, it does not hate. Not bad, huh? Ooh, it's got a nice, a few nice roots going on right there. So, I may actually, because I don't have that many succulents anymore, I may actually, uh, or as many as I used to have, I may actually root those. Okay, so I've loosened this whole thing. And the graptive area, I'm definitely going to cut back. I'm going to cut back almost all the way to here. I don't know if it'll re-sprout or not, but it's not looking all that good. And as you can see, the miniature jades are actually showing a little sign of burn, even though it's been way up there. So, way up by the front door. I'm sorry. <laughs> and you're like, way up where now? That's if you don't know my house, right? <clears throat> so, obviously I don't want this to stay as one, because it's, it's just taken up too much real estate in this pot, and I want to get a lot of these cuttings in here. I, I want to get a lot of these cuttings in here, but don't worry too much about succulents because you can really crowd them in. And I think I'm going to automatically leave that out because that I don't have any great hope for. 
And as you can see, old Oscar has joined us out in the garden. He's 17, so he's uh the cats come out under supervision because there are all sorts of things which can eat them around here. I ended up taking that big cluster apart because it was just too big. So I'm going to put these right over here next to the paddle plant. Okay, you can go down a little bit. Love my succulents. I mean, in Santa Barbara, you would toss a leaf out and it would root in your garden, literally. Here, it's a little bit harder with with these. Now, cactus, cactus, like agaves and that kind of thing, it's a very different story. So, okay. This actually was my grandmother's chamber pot. And for those of you who are younger and don't know what a chamber pot is, it's what people used before there were flush toilets. They would keep this pot in their chamber for that purpose. And I love this pot, but um, I'm going to plant the um, Queen Agave, or no, no, the Queen Victoria Agave in here, and that's going to go on my patio because I love that. I love that agave. So uh, this is actually where the pot is going. I had quite a few small pots here and one over there, and I'm like, okay, one pot is it. I want one larger pot to water. It gets a little bit of morning sun here. That's it. Shouldn't burn the succulents because the succulents that were over there got more sun. Isn't that weird in this small area? And there's a, that's the one that we're showing the burn. These were not. So now it's time to start on the cuttings. Okay, so I am making a really big mess here, but there's no way to do this kind of project and not make a mess. That's why I have the sheet, because I can just fold it up and go shake, shake, shake. But, you know, it's just a really uh, wonderful thing to do right at your front door. <laughs> Nothing says, welcome, come into my house, like a big blockade of succulents. Anyway, um, I've got these in the plants I'm going to put in here. These have bigger root balls, obviously, than the cuttings here. And I'm not going to put all of the cuttings in. I don't think I'm going to put the aeoniums in because for some reason it seems like they have not rooted all that well. And I've heard that aeoniums don't do that well at all here. So I might think, hmm, might just put them in a small pot and put them somewhere, see if I can keep them inside or something. Who knows? I don't know. I'll see. Oh, what I have in here that I'm sprinkling around is a little bit of compost. Organic, everything I use is organic, the potting, you know, the potting mixes and everything I do. Um, this is pretty strong stuff, so I'm not using all that much of it. And I, uh, as you know, I've already mixed some into the soil in the, in the bottom of the pot. But this and worm compost are the best way to feed succulents that I have found in my in my succulent in in my years of succulent experience. Um, those are the two things that I like to use because succulents don't need that much. All right, now I have this. Um, the paddle plant here, the Kalanchoe at the back, and I gave it a little bit of room because it spreads this way. Everything else I'm going to pretty much cram in here, and we'll see how it turns out. This one has a nice little root system. Going to go around and get the rest of these out now, the ones I'm going to use. So what I'm doing now is I'm filling in with the cuttings I'm going to use. And I'm actually working at the front of the pot, which is why I haven't been filming, because I, I want to see how it looks, obviously, because it's the front. So I've just been um, filling in with succulent mix, and now um, I'm going to add the cuttings in here and there. All right, here's how it's coming along so far. I just have a uh, couple more things to add in. But I just want to let you know if you're doing anything like this, um, it's going to look like a hodgepodge at first, but once it grows in, they look really, really nice. And um, also, too, when you're working with succulent cuttings, a lot of them are heavy on the top. So, like, this one I had to prop up because they want to just 
flip flop over in the light and mix so you have to sort of play around with them to get them to stand up and as I'm speaking this uh, sedum over here is falling so I want you to why don't you prop up right there? Oh, beautiful. See, sometimes you can use another plant to prop a plant up. <laughs> I'm done with this succulent project for now, so what I'm going to do is get cleaned up so you can see it in its spot. And I'm not going to water it in. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to let it just set for like a couple days. And then I'm going to water it. And as the uh, top of the soil settles down a little bit, then it's going to get the worm compost treatment. I'll put like probably like half an inch of worm compost on the top, which these succulents will love. So one thing about pots, I just want to tell you really fast. Um, I didn't want a lot of terracotta pots because terracotta really heats up and it's porous, uh, the unglazed terracotta. So it dries out faster. This will not dry out as fast because it is a uh, plastic or fiberglass pot. So I hope you have found this video to be helpful, and I hope that it has inspired you to perhaps try a succulent medley, melange, potpourri of your own. Oh, I just wanted to let you know that even the plants I started as cuttings to, this, um, even the paddle plant was a cutting out of my uh, garden in Santa Barbara. I will leave the link to the paddle plant patch down below. Please come back. I have a lot more videos about gardening for you. I have so many projects to do around here. I'm going to try and film as many for you as I can. And speaking of gardening, let's get out in the garden and make the world a more beautiful place. I thank you for watching. I thank you for your likes and your subscribes. I really appreciate them. Thanks for watching and I will be around in the next video for you. Bye.